Britons with respiratory conditions could qualify for benefit worth up to £748 a month. Hey guys! Are you or someone you know struggling with a respiratory condition in the UK? Well, I've got some great news for you. Did you know that you may be eligible for a benefit worth up to £748 a month? That's right, and in this video, we'll be exploring this benefit in detail, who can qualify and how to apply for it. So, stay tuned and find out how you can get the financial support you need to manage your respiratory condition. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe our channel for upcoming updates by UK government and other very interesting content on various topics. Britons with respiratory conditions could qualify for benefit worth up to £748 a month. People with respiratory conditions, such as severe asthma, could be missing out on an additional £748 a month in personal independence payment (PIP). The benefit distributed by the Department for Work and Pensions, DWP, is targeted to support people who have an illness or condition that makes it difficult for them to carry out daily tasks, and the payment rate recently increased. People can apply for PIP even if they're working, have savings, or are already receiving other benefits. However, the amount the person receives depends on the type of condition they have and how much the DWP thinks it impacts their ability to do things. A number of conditions can qualify a person for PIP, however, thousands of eligible people aren't claiming it simply because they're unaware they're able to, particularly those with non-visible conditions, such as some respiratory conditions. In fact, according to government statistics, respiratory diseases make up one of the five most commonly recorded disabling conditions amongst PIP claimants. PIP. People can get up to £172.75 per week. Respiratory diseases can include conditions such as asthma, sleep apnea, cystic fibrosis, pneumonia, and more. What are the PIP rates 2023? As mentioned, payment rates vary by disabling condition and how much it impacts the claimant's day-to-day -day life. There are two components to PIP a daily living part for those who need help with everyday tasks, and a mobility part for those who need help moving around. Each comes with two rates, a standard rate and an enhanced rate. PIP. Respiratory diseases are one of the five most commonly recorded disabling conditions. Daily living tasks standard rate £68.10 a week, up from £61.85, Enhanced rate £101.75 a week, up from £92.40. Mobility tasks. Standard rate £26.90 a week, up from £24.45. Enhanced rate £71 a week, up from £64.50. The enhanced rate of the mobility component also gives people the option of getting a motability vehicle instead of cash. Whether people get one or both parts depends on how difficult they find everyday tasks and getting around. PIP claimants may also be eligible for the £150 disability cost of living payment this summer. In terms of respiratory conditions that could qualify for PIP, the 24 could include sleep apnea obstructive, upper respiratory tract other diseases of type not known, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, chronic bronchitis, cystic fibrosis, emphysema, empyema, bronchiectasis, asthma, asbestosis, extrinsic allergic alveolitis, fibrosing alveolitis, sarcoidosis, silicosis, granulomatous lung disease and pulmonary infiltration, pulmonary fibrosis other type not known, pneumoconiosis, pulmonary fibrosis, pleura, Pleural effusion, pneumothorax, pulmonary embolus, pneumonia, lung heart and lung transplantation. How to claim PIP? To be eligible for PIP, people must be aged 16 or over and the following must apply. They have a long-term physical or mental health condition or disability. They have difficulty doing certain everyday tasks or getting around. They expect the difficulties to last for at least 12 months from when they started. The easiest way to claim is to phone the PIP helpline. Claimants must then fill in a form, after which they'll then undergo an assessment. Thanks for watching this video. 
Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And please don't forget like, share and comment.